Hello and welcome to our fifth episode of the Coromil Plura Insights broadcast. In the past episodes, we dealt with various milling operations such as grooving, high feed side milling, to thread milling. Today, we will look at the challenges of end milling with long overhangs. Long overhangs limit the performance of the milling processes in many cases. The reason for this are the vibrations that occur. Especially here, it is important to choose the right tool and the right strategy. Let's have a look at the background. The biggest problem when machining with long overhangs is the tool deflection. Let's look at the mathematical formula and understand what causes this effect. We see here we have factors as the bending forces, tool length, type of shank we're using, and momentum of inertia. But as we can see on the formula, the greatest effect comes from the length, which has an exponent of 3. Let's take a look at a few examples now. We have here an example where we're applying a force of 2,000 newtons on a tool diameter of 10 millimeters. If we take the example of a 1 times d, which is a 10 millimeters, we get a bending of a 0 0.007 millimeters. If we take that as our factor, and we look at the other side, when we have a 5 times diameter, we see here that the deflection increases to almost 1 millimeter, which is a factor of a 125 times more over the 1 times d. Let's try to put this in practice and show with our next example. We will do this exercise on the machine, and we have two similar tools, with the only difference that one tool is 6 millimeter longer than the other one. Let's see how much this could affect our machining process. As you have seen, we have gained more productivity with a shorter tool. A 6 mm difference gave us two times more of the productivity and the better stability. One key factor to learn from this example is that one should always choose the shortest tool possible for his application. Now, we will try to see an example when we're using a long overhang tool with a heavy metal shank and we'll try to see different strategies to see which one will give us the best possible machining removal rate and explain it after. Let's see the examples now. Now, that's what I call a great result. By changing the strategy, we achieve 70 times higher chip removal rate with a Q value of over 200 cubic centimeters per minute. The trick here is the small radial engagement in which only one cutting edge is in contact with the material at a time, which means reduce tool engagement time. For efficient machining with long overhangs, always use maximum cutting edge length of the tool and provide small radial engagements. This also has an effect on distributing the wear over a greater length. This will enable us to achieve productive, safe machining and also longer tool life. We hope we are giving you interesting insights on the challenging long overhang milling. 
For more information on this topic, visit our website or contact your Sanvi Kormat representative. If you are interested in more vibration-related topics, check out our next episode on spindle speeds selection. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, make the best of your solid carbide tools.